These are grave times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. Home, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project, follow me. Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Gregory. I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? As for me, I think I shall remain with Lord Mortimer, Sir Gregory. You are committing a grave error, Louis. Time will tell. My friends, I would like to thank you for staying. Good God, William. What is this I hear about you reinforcing military power in Louisiana? I have no interest in having France for a neighbor, and you know that very well. Calm down, George. Louis, explain our plan to Mr. Washington, please. You see, Mr. President, Lord Mortimer anticipates that once France obtains Louisiana, they will cede it to you. What do you mean? To us? The United States? You heard right. But I... President Washington, the United States will double in size. By what miracle have you... You need to expand, George. You and France are the two major democracies in the modern world. It is necessary that you both become superpowers. Are you really going to sponsor democracy throughout the world? Of course, Monsieur Peru. That's why I don't want Spain to get too attached to those weapons. Uh, please continue, Louis. Explain my vision to Mr. President. By going through France, Spain won't suspect that it's you who's going to take possession of Louisiana. They'll even believe that France will be a protective buffer between itself in California and you on the East Coast. If Senor Godoy was afraid that you might take the territory by force, now he is reassured. You would never attack France. But why didn't you tell me before? So that Lord Mortimer would appear to be isolated without support. Exactly. You got it, Louis. Lord Mortimer retains the advantage by advancing under cover. And, for it to work, he needed you to act surprised. William, you haven't changed. Always one step ahead. One step ahead? You're joking. More like five. On that note, my friends, it's getting late. Mr. President, continue to take offense over my project when we resume the conference in the morning. You do it to a T. And if Sir Gregory has the audacity to send you an emissary to convince you to go against me, do me a favor. String him along if you can. The more they believe we are divided, the more we'll have our hands free. Only too happy to oblige. Now, let us get some rest. We've got a big day tomorrow. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Louis, if you have a minute, I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm going to require your services. How can I be of help? Tell me all about it. Our adversaries are many, and the closing vote of the conference will soon be upon us. Time is of an essence, so I'll need you to assist me this evening. How can I help? I need you to go this very evening to persuade Senor Godoy to join us. He is the backbone of Gregory's resistance. Turn him round, and all the others will follow in such a stampede that Gregory will be able to do nothing but admit defeat. Lord Mortimer, with all due respect, don't you think I'm the last person Godoy wants to talk to? I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you.
Lord Mortimer, you're not telling me everything. Let's say I wouldn't disapprove if the right honorable, though nonetheless choleric, Duke Manuel put you in his bad books. If it could motivate him to declare war on France, it would greatly serve our interests. War? What do you mean? I told you before the conference. The more we distract Spain from the Americas, the less it will have an eye on Louisiana. But all the same, we're talking about a war in Europe. Don't worry. That's why Mr. Bonaparte is with us. I am convinced we'll be perfectly capable of managing the conflict. And Signor Godoy is not a great soldier. He will not commit Spain to a long war that he won't be capable of managing. I'll go straight away. Thank you, my boy. And get some rest afterwards. Big day tomorrow. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's not what I said. Ah, by the way, you surprised me during the conference. Why is that? Well, you are going to lose. Why stay with Lord Mortimer? I believe he has every chance of winning. My, you are a rash one. However, if ever you want to change sides, please feel free to let me know. But tell me, you didn't come here to try and make me change my mind, did you? That's the last thing on my mind. Although you would have everything to gain by it. Do you perhaps know something that I don't? Come on, Emily. It's time you lay your cards on the table. If you know something I don't about Lord Mortimer, now's the time. I don't want to speak ill of him, but in certain circles, you can't exactly say he has a good reputation. Continue. Well, there have been instances where he has used people, then gotten rid of them once he no longer seemed to need them, Louis. He makes fine promises, makes you feel valuable, tests you. But beware. I'm worried that something might happen to you. Are you advising me to change sides as a precaution? I'd rather say as a safety measure. Louis, if you trust me, you ought to ask yourself why I have chosen home. You do trust me, don't you? Of course, Emily. Admit, though, that it does make you think. There's still time, you know. Join us, before it's too late. Unfortunately, my word is my bond. I don't want to leave Lord Mortimer in the lurch. Very well, as you wish. It's up to you to decide. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? I haven't had a minute to myself, what with the disappearance of Elizabeth and then the conference. Yes, I hope to continue my investigation tomorrow. Do you have any leads? No, not really. That's the problem. Too bad. Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Come, Louis. 